It's the 20th of August, 2017. Kind of a lovely morning. It's not too warm, a little bit humid, but good. Gonna be a standard Sunday, record gig with mom and dad, all that stuff. Uh, I don't have a let's plays because it was a hoo week, or it was supposed to be a hoo week anyway. So, interesting plan from mom. Uh, we are going to indeed do Going Through Who today after we do gig, so we gotta watch the episodes and everything and then record it, of course. Um, but she has been trying to work her schedule around because all of us are pretty much in that state where we're fixing stuff up, so obviously we have to talk to each other with our various affairs. Um, and me and her are going to move our content days to strictly Sunday, so... Whenever we know there's going to be a going through who that needs to come up the week following, we're going to record it that that Sunday before. So, in other words, we'll be recording going through who next week as well, but it won't come out until the week after when the episode would have come out in the first place. This will make it to where our weekends are mostly free. I'll have my, you know, Thursday stream which I'm considering not doing podcasts on the Thursday stream because I do get distracted while doing those during it. Uh, But that's just something I'm considering. Anyway, um, but doing the Thursday stream Thursday night means that I've pretty much got the weekend open other than Sunday being a content day. That sounds pretty good to me. That and on Fridays where I've been wanting to, you know, take in some either Platform University or my other courses that I get, I can finally have time to do that as well. So that will actually help that goal a bit by working things around. So yeah, this stuff ought to work. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if the shift in schedule really adjusts things. So I, in the brawl this week on Heroes, got my first Lucio match in. Um, it was interesting to practice in that way. I didn't really have much of a choice. I, the other choices that it gave me in the random selection I didn't like so well, so I thought, well, since I've got the option, let's try out Lucio. And, yeah, I liked him. Ariel's still, I think, going to be my main healer. I love her. But who knows, if I get Lucio in a chest or something, then it might be an option. Yeah, I'm just playing me some heroes until uh, Mom and Dad finish with their practice. They're only going to take a couple of hours. Um, yeah, they're they're starting to get back into the swing of practicing their music and stuff. So, with that in mind, as it were, um, that's going to be part of the Sunday thing, too, is that we'll probably record gig, those two will practice a couple of hours, and then whatever me and Mom need to record, we're going to deal with that. So, whether it be Let's Play or Doctor Who, that'll be the thing. This schedule really should work out. Donovan and a few other friends just tested out Discord's video functions because he's on the paid Discord plan, so he automatically gets to test their new stuff. I like it. It's it works, and it works like Sky. We had we had a couple of interesting little hiccups, so to speak. Um, like one of us started off doing audio, switched over, did a bunch of stuff, and then had video but didn't have audio. So, again, it's in beta, so they're going to have glitches like that. It was still frustrating for them, though. But, yeah, it was a good test, and I think Discord's at the start of making a nice setup to where yeah, podcasters, if they want to do a video function, could possibly do it. Yeah, you strike me like a blade All the things that you say Cause I It's the 21st of August, 2017, and guess what my workplace is allowing? We get to see the eclipse if we've, well, got the appropriate gear.
Okay, so several things. One, the eclipse was amazing. And two, we're sitting in the parking lot of the library. Wait, on a Monday? Yes, on a Monday. I'll explain. Uh, one of our co-workers told us about a cooking class that's here. And when I say told us, I mean told mom. Guess we got dragged along for it. Yep. Uh, I wanted to anyway. I, uh, there was, I, I struggled with it. I was like, do I want to? Do I? Okay, yeah, let's go. You know, why not? I like cooking and everything, so this will just give me something else to go with. But yeah. So we're leaving now. It was just an hour class, too, which was nice. Uh, it was good. Uh, um, Christina is so just nice, I suppose is the way to put it. And her husband was with her, so I don't know if he's a nutritionalist or what. I, I had intended to ask them some questions, but of course you guys dragged me right out of the place. So, <laughs> next month. Um, they have started doing this monthly at our library, so the next third Monday I will get to report with you guys with another one. This one was a Mediterranean picnic sort of theme, and it was nice, especially like the hummus. There's some good hummus. I got a package in the mail today, too. A game that I kickstarted way back last year has finally made its appearance. And actually, I imagine the box to be bigger, which is nice. It means that it's not going to be this huge game that I've got to find somewhere to store it in. Instead, it's going to be a manageable size. That's always a good thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, time to unbox. Well, unbag, but you get the idea. Let's unpack. Created by Magic Meeple Games and hard to get out of a back box one-handed unless you use your chest, it's Fire of Eldon. Nice. It's totally designed to look like a old-fashioned RPG on... It's one of those where the um, area is always different no matter how many times you play it, stuff like that. It's a Diamond Club connection, too, because people who are fans of the Diamond Club actually um, pitched this to us way back in the day. I think... I'm thinking this may have even been before they became Night Attack. Now that I'm thinking about it, it may still be NSFW show days. Now I'm going to spend part of my evening looking through this beauty um, and seeing if the rules actually fit for a game night. Uh, learn 10 minutes, teach 5 minutes, set up 5 minutes, uh, players 1 to 6, ages 14 up, and playtime 30 to 40 minutes. So conceivably, yes, this is totally doable for one of our game nights, which is what I thought would be the case. Um, but yeah, I've got the Kickstarter edition, obviously. That's why it's got the Enhanced Series label on the front. Um, and I'm quite happy to have helped get this thing made. Maybe on Thursday, I'll get to test a sucker out. It's the 22nd of August, 2017. It's D&D Day, and we've also got a new member joining our group tonight. Should be fun. Oh, we're starting to get to the good old-fashioned being dark times again at 8.30. Anyway, so, awesome stuff happened tonight. Uh, we took care of the creature. The person that we were supposed to have dead is dead. We didn't kill them, though. Turns out that creature ate them. Um, there's a bit of backstabbing going on, like I said, because the uh, two drow guards, which were two members of our party, um, turns out they were after something on her and totally helped out with that death part. <laughs> I don't know if they were informed as to what we were doing or what, so... That's some weird stuff. Either way, one of our friends, as I said, joined. I think I've, I think I've mentioned that. Sometimes it's hard to decide. Yeah, in fact, I know I did. Uh, but she joined. She's probably going to finish up her character. But we pretty much bare bones the character enough to where there could be some interaction. 
she, yeah, she's, she's going to be good at this. D&D will be a thing she's going to be able to do, like I suspected. Um, and otherwise, it's the 23rd of August, 2017, and I've got a new recruit. Ladies and gentlemen, Iron Fist. Let me look, actually. So, a bit of an exercise update today, I suppose. Um, me and Mom are actually going to make a plan this weekend. So, we gotta wait till this weekend, because that's when we'll have time. Uh, but we're gonna make a plan this weekend to look up some exercises to do some toning, because we're kinda wanting to do that. Um, so, we're, we're about to shuffle our work out a bit, but still gonna be a thing we're doing. So that was a classic episode of Star Trek that was in Season 3. It was called, if I'm not mistaken, Let That Be Your Last Battlefield. Um, it was pretty much, and mind you, this was in the 60s, an allegory for racism. And it was a dang good allegory for racism. If anything, it's probably one of the best uh, fictional putting a mic putting racism under a microscope things that I've ever seen, because it really makes a point of showing how ridiculous that mindset really is. And honestly, I don't care if you are a fan of Star Trek or not. I think it's one of those essential pop culture viewings. Uh, most people know who all the people of the Enterprise are anyway. It's sort of, they're ubiqui ubiquitous as, I still didn't say the word white, did I? One takes snaps. Anyway, it's ubiquitous. There we go. In pop culture, who these people are. And in this case, I think you could follow along enough to where you don't really need to know them, even if that's something that's not in your wheelhouse. But check out Star Trek The Original Series. It's in Season 3. It's near the beginning, but let this be your last battlefield, I believe, is the exact title of it. Or something very close to that to where you'll know what I'm talking about give you just a slight hint. Um, the Enterprise ends up picking up someone that's stolen a, a shuttlecraft from one of the space stations, um, and he ends up having a face that is half black. Uh, let's see, I think his is on the left side, and it's half white on the right side. But then another member of his of his species shows up, and the colors are swapped. Can you see what happens here? Yeah. I won't give you any more than that, because you really need to see it without all that context in order to have it have the impact that it inevitably will have. So, second day of trying out Thursday night. I'm digging it. Of course, whenever you get to that midnight area, sometimes you feel a bit, ooh, but otherwise, it's it's doing well. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. You, pro you guys probably would have seen the usual plug from me, but honestly, I rushed home, was a bit late, and was like, oh, and I still was like a couple of minutes late, but still, I was fine, so... <laughs> yeah, it was one of those. So, yeah. Chat room joked with me about it and everything. Loving my chat room. I really am. It's the 25th of August, 2017, and I just got done ordering all the components for my Halloween costume. You really gotta plan ahead for these things. My Halloween costume at a friend's house, anyway. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna have a public, public Halloween costume, you know, at work, but... We'll see. And that was a loud Jeep. Anyway, yeah, it's it's just one of those things where I kind of have to figure it out. Because, like I said, I've always had more of an easy time doing 
costumes at friends' parties and stuff like that because they get pop culture. Doing something at work where I have to make sure that an entire group of people from all various backgrounds and stuff get it, that's where it gets complicated. <laughs> Me and mom just randomly watched Clue. Um, I actually I actually had Clue in my head, and I was thinking, you know, I need to watch it sometime anyway. I think I thought of it a couple of weeks ago. So we were just on the same wavelength. It came up on Hulu for her, and she went, you want to watch Clue? And I looked around. Like, yeah, tell you what, let's do it. <laughs> so, so we watched Clue. Yeah, it's just as good as it was the first thousand times I used to watch it as a kid. It was one of my favorite ones. Clue? Uh, someone once set, made a joke that you can know a lot from a person by where they recognize Tim Curry from. Uh, Clue was the first time I got exposed to Tim Curry as a kid. So, that's, that's my Tim Curry, is Clue. Wadsworth, of course. Now it's 4.35 and I've got some things I kind of want to get done around the house before 7 o'clock rolls around and I'm ready for my weekly call. So, yeah. I'm gonna get that stuff done. Mostly boring stuff like, you know, sweeping up, possibly getting a shave, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't even need documented and I usually don't document because boring! <laughs> so, just stuff will be done. That's all you need to know. So Night Attack has moved to Friday night tonight, which means I get to be there live for one. For once! I'll be dang. He's always the victim, right? But she's okay. been able to yeah. do it because she's always had traditional narrative tropes to hide behind. Now I'm back home. Um, I didn't start the Snapchat story until I had already gotten to my friend's house. Everything. They had a game night tonight. So I was invited and, of course, came. It was an interesting little... Well, first of all, the game night was fantastic. Um, it was fun. So uh, if they invite me to another one of those, I'm definitely going again. Oh. I forgot to turn my air conditioning off before I left the house. Oh well, it'll be the right temperature at least. Played a few games that I have never played before, and they were all fun. In fact, some of them I'm considering getting my own copy of them because I think they'd be welcome additions to my own personal collection. Um, but yeah, good day. But today also had a bit of personal development in it because... You guys know that I have problems driving outside of the little town that I'm in. I tend to avoid it because, you know, I've just got concerns the way my brain processes things and stuff like that. I drove to the next town over, which was Corbin. Which the process of that is that I got on the interstate, drove 70 miles per hour, something that I have not done in for freaking ever, although felt natural. It was like riding a bike. Um, never forgot. But I drove in 70 miles per hour with other people doing some weird maneuvers around me. There wasn't anything too bad, but there were a couple that I kind of raised an eyebrow at, but you always got a few. Um, and then arrived in the GameStop at the parking lot, and I realized, oh my god, I've done it! I've I've successfully made this journey, and it's it's something I know I can do now, and th that's an accomplishment for me. It really is. Some of you are listening and hearing and saying, that's the smallest thing, especially if you're using Google Maps to figure out where Williamsburg is from Corbin. But for me, with my brain processes and everything, that that is genuinely a huge deal for me. So I'm happy that I can say that I can do that now because that makes one less screw up for me. 
because that means I could go to the movies if I wanted to on my own because the, the I went to the second Corbin exit where the GameStop was. The first Corbin exit is where the movie place is for the theater. So I could totally go there, no problem, if I could make it all the way to GameStop. So, stuff's definitely unlocked in my head. Achievement unlocked, if you will. When you have things like epilepsy, sometimes you have to give yourself context. Because otherwise you will put yourself down and say, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why well, was... That's stupid. Simple. Why would that even be a thing? But honestly, sometimes it is the tiny things that make the most out of a moment. Because, hey, I freaking did it. Awesome. So awesome day for various reasons. Yeah. It's not over yet. But for the rest of my day, I'm just going to relax, you know. Uh, make some show notes because me and Mom are recording Going Through Who because of our new recording schedule where we're going to record it the week before it actually comes out. The the actual Sunday, one week ahead of time. That way, Sundays will just be our recording days. And with tomorrow, we're also going to record some Bioshock Let's Plays as well. And then next week... I will be gone, so I won't be doing that. <laughs> Had a realization that I've got to get on my calendar straight, but it won't screw anything up. Anyway. But yeah, point is, after that, next week is a scheduled Let's Play week, and then who, and back and forth, and back and forth. So then it'll be a rotation like we always had it, just with going through who placed in it as well. So, yeah. Good times. Good good organizational scheduling because then it opens her days up as well as it opens some of my days up too. So all in all, both of us decided it was a good thing schedule-wise. So that's why we're doing it. 